Training module 4.6, yield response to water. In this last part of the four successive modules, we focus now on the simulation of crop yield. Crop yield is obtained from the biomass production and it's considered a fraction of the total production of biomass during the season. This fraction is called the harvest index. Now the harvest index consists of two terms. One is the reference harvest index, which is a crop characteristic, and the other is a multiplier. A multiplier which can become larger or smaller than one, depending when the stress occurs and how much stress there is. So the harvest index is adjusted for water and temperature stress, and that is expressed by the multiplier. The learning objective of this training module is to understand how aquacrop simulates crop yield. First we look at the reference harvest index, and then in a second part we are going to look at the multiplier of the harvest index. So let's start with the reference harvest index and then more precisely about the building up of the harvest index during the yield formation stage. During the yield formation, harvest index gradually increase. It is zero at flowering and then after a small lag phase, it linear increase till physiological maturity. At physiological maturity, the crop reaches the reference harvest index, which is the representative harvest index from the crop species under non-stressed conditions. The building up of the harvest index is simulated somewhat differently depending on the type of crop. For fruit and grain producing crop, it starts from flowering and then linear increase till physiological maturity. For root and tuber crops, it starts from the tuber formation and the shape is also somewhat different of the increase of the harvest index. For leafy vegetable crops, it starts actually from germination and very quickly the reference harvest index is reached. Although reference harvest index is a crop characteristic, there might be need to adjust it when there is early senescence. Here we see how the harvest index develops throughout the growing season and reach is maximum value reference harvest index at maturity. Due to water stresses, the canopy development can be completely different. If there is no severe water stress, which trigger early canopy senescence, the crop might not reach the end of the growing cycle. And as such, there is insufficient green canopy cover to reach the harvest index. And the harvest index is now adjusted due to insufficient green canopy cover. There is not enough energy anymore to fill the grains. Before looking at the stresses affecting harvest index, it is necessary to understand in which period we have potential vegetative growth. Here we see the crop development in function of time. This is a determined crop and it means it makes a clear distinction between vegetative growth and between yield formation. The potential vegetative growth is simulated in aqua crop for determined crops till the middle of flowering. At that moment, the canopy cover has reached its maximum. So the determency is linked with the flowering. During yield formation stage, the canopy cover can no longer increase. Let's look at the canopy development for a determined crop. So I start the simulation, but very quickly, due to water stress, 
the canopy development is limited and even stop it at day 30 of the season. Let's add some rainfall, 50 millimeters of rainfall. That will bring water in the root zone and result in a canopy increase. However, adding water after mid flowering will no longer adjust in canopy development because the crop now use the assimilates to fill the grains and not to make new leaves. Even if I apply an irrigation of 200 millimeters, the crop will not grow anymore. In an intermediate crop, however, the potential vegetative growth extends till senescence. The determency is not linked with flowering. This is typically a case for tomatoes, cotton, which still can make leaves while the crop is flowering. Let's run a same simulation for an indeterminate crop. Soon after germination, water stress becomes very severe, limiting the canopy development and even stopped it. Then we consider a rainfall of 50 millimeters, which wetted the root zone and as such the canopy uh, could develop further. Since this is an indeterminate crop, adding water even after mid-flowering will result in an increase of canopy cover. So I add an irrigation of 200 millimeter. It adds a lot of water to the root zone and as such the canopy can develop again, although we are already in the yield formation stage. 